system is often referred to as a weak point in the chain of getting oxygen from outside in the air down to the muscles where it's going to be used. And the reason for this is that in unfit, untrained horses, it's the heart and the muscles that are the weakest link. But with training, the muscles and the heart improve, they adapt and they get fitter. But the respiratory system doesn't change, so it's exactly the same before and after training. And after training in fit horses, it's the respiratory system that's the weak point, and therefore it needs all the help it can get. Some people think that nasal strips are only for the top riders of professionals, but actually horses at all different levels can potentially benefit from the fair. Horses at lower levels sometimes may not be quite as fit, might not be so athletic, and therefore they might actually struggle a bit more with exercise and so could benefit from using flare strips. One of the other problems that horses experience is a thing called exercise induced pulmonary hemorrhage or bleeding and this is breaking blood vessels in the lung. Now we used to think this was only a problem for racehorses but we now know this happens to all horses that exercise at more than a canter. So that would be show jumpers, uh, eventers, polo ponies. You don't have to see blood out the nostrils, uh, we now go know that if we go into the windpipe and look we will see blood after exercise in these horses. And this is another thing that the nasal strip does, is it makes it easier for the horse to breathe and it reduces the, the physical effort of breathing, being clinically proven to reduce the IPH. Can you imagine trying to uh, exercise while somebody's got their hand over your mouth or pinching your nose? It's going to have an effect on your concentration. You're not going to be concentrating on exercise, you're going to be concentrating on trying to breathe. here as the horse comes towards us is that each stride and each breath are in perfect synchrony and that's the sign of a healthy horse. The two are actually perfectly linked together at canter and gallop and it becomes even more critical once the horse starts to jump. And what we should hear as the horse comes through is that it holds its breath over the jump and its normal breathing doesn't start until the stride after the horse has landed and it then gets back into this one-to-one -one rhythm. And we can see when the horse is exercising how wide it holds its nostrils open. And this is because all the air that's going to go into those lungs, that's about a bucket of air every stride, has got to go through those two narrow nostrils. So the interesting thing about the horse that's, that's very different to us is we can breathe through our nose and through our mouth. The horse is only to, able to breathe through its nose. And the horse has got this uh, little bit of a problem here because you can see we've got bone that comes down here and we've got bone that comes down here but we've got this bit of skin in here which isn't supported. There's no bone underneath here, there's no, no real cartilage underneath here. So when the horse breathes in, you can see that that bit of skin gets sucked inwards and when the horse breathes out, it's been sucked in now, when it, it gets it balloons out. Now that's not a problem when it breathes out, but it is a problem when the horse breathes in because that makes the in, inside of the nostril narrower and obstructs the movement of air. The important thing with the flare strip is that it has these supportive bands inside and there's three of them and this is this is along the lines of the uh, the idea of the human nasal strip and what these bands have to do is support this skin over here now that means if we've got it up too high then again you can see that we're not supporting this this skin here similarly if we've got it down here if it's too low then we're still not supporting so these bands have got to be over that part of the skin there to support it and that's that's about right there because we've got bone up there and we've got sort of cartilage and bone down here and we're right in the right place to support that when it's there the other important thing of course is that it's not to one side or the other it's, it's got to be straight in the middle and these bands have got to be over that part of skin there for the flare nasal strip to work effectively, it's got to be fitted correctly, making sure that the, the skin is clean 
and this means using the template that's supplied with the nasal strip and lining this up with the top of the nostril and then pushing it into place. You can see that Sean has fitted this uh, perfectly. He's used the template to align the, the here with the top of the nostrils and you can see the strips in exactly the right place. We've got the skin here fully supported by the strip and if I put my hand over you see that when the horse breathes in the skin doesn't collapse anywhere near as much when the horse tries to breathe in because and that's because the strip is attached to the coat here and it's keeping the, the skin over the nostrils and keeping them open. So flare nasal strips are easy to use, are well tolerated by horses and reduce the stress on the respiratory system which should mean improved performance and reduced lung bleeding.